Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Stacy Lang. State police now say the victims in this morning's fire in Nescapac range in age from 6 to 70. Three are confirmed dead. Troopers say several people are still missing. First responders are continuing that difficult recovery effort this afternoon. Newswatch 16's Emily Cress is live in Luzerne County with the latest. Emily. Stacy, there are no other words to describe the scene here on First Street other than just pure devastation. Now I'm going to step out of the frame for a second here so we can see um, fire crews have staged all of their trucks around while they work on that recovery effort. And an hour ago, state police held a press conference where they confirmed three people are dead. Their ages range from six to 70 years old. Police say they expect to pull more bodies from the rubble, but they could not confirm just how many more. The fire broke out around 2.30 this morning, and by 9 a.m., the state police fire marshal and other agencies started to sift through what was left of the home. Newswatch 16's Elizabeth Worthington spoke with a neighbor earlier this morning who says he heard what sounded like a gunshot, bringing his attention to the house across the street. I was uh, sitting downstairs watching some TV, and I heard a pop. And I wasn't sure what it was, and I looked out the window, and I seen on the front porch it just started. It was, just, it was already almost totally engulfed. Now, there are still a lot of unanswered questions like what started this fire on First Street and just how many people are still unaccounted for. State police tell us this is still very much an active investigation and we expect them to be here for hours and hours during this recovery effort and we will provide team coverage with more information as we receive it. Emily Crest, Newswatch 16 reporting live in Nescapac. Emily, thank you for that update.